So it's official, we now have a travel trailer. And if you haven't bought an RV in a long time, buying an RV is kind of like buying a house because there's so much to do. There's so much crap that you somehow stuff in these things. And so we have been moving stuff around. We actually traded in two RVs. So we had to bring a lot of stuff from both rigs. So with that being said, you guys are pretty much already seen some of the upgrades that I've done. Now, as I just said, we had two RVs, right? Both RVs had different door sizes. So our fifth wheel had this like little guard for the screen door here. And then the one in our bedroom actually fit perfectly from our travel trailer, which was like a 20 foot Amerilite. So that was like perfect. So I didn't have to buy anything extra. So that was all from our previous purchases. We did install the television in here. This was super easy to do. Um, they already give you the backing on the back here. So this came out of our fifth wheel and I just basically took the wood. These screws, I think are about an inch long, maybe an inch and a quarter long because of this piece of wood here, but you do not want to go too long on the screws. If you're not even using this, I would say maybe go about an inch or less, but it has been hanging up here for about two weeks now. So, so far so good. So we got a rug. So I'll have my wife come out and we'll put that out. I hung this guy right here and that was from our fifth wheel too. So we've pretty much been able to recycle everything that we've had. But so far, I have really been enjoying our rig. The one thing I told my wife when we buy our next RV is we have to get a 12 volt refrigerator that checks the box there. This one has two AC units and you know, for 20 foot RV, actually this is 32 foot, I believe. But when we were looking at a 45 foot fifth wheel, I said three AC units minimum, but we decided on this one. So this is good enough. I'm glad that they don't use those ugly outdoor speakers. This is a Bluetooth speaker that connects to your phone. They only give you one. And I'm not sure if you can hook up any extra speakers inside the rig, but there is no speaker on the outside. So that's not a big deal, but that's pretty much everything I've done on the inside so far. I think inside of here, we just put down some rugs. So just small things. And again, having two rigs has really helped us to like, just not have to buy new stuff. Now let's go ahead and go out on the outside so you guys can see some of the things I've done. Almost forgot. I did buy this guy. This is the Level Mate Pro. We don't have auto leveling on this rig and I did not want to be spending a lot of time trying to level this thing because when I go camping, I like it to be as easy as possible. So that's why I added this. So there's a learning curve to setting it up. You have to make sure your rig is completely level when you configure it. But once you do that, it's really easy to do. So as I said earlier too, these screens um, actually came from our fifth wheel in our travel trailer. And we're just using them again. Inside of here, I don't think we've done anything quite yet, but I'll just show you anyways. Yep. We're gonna use this area for storage. We have some of our grill stuff in there. But yeah, I haven't done anything back in this area. Nothing on the back has been done. I did install this, and I'm a little concerned that it might be too low, but we already had one that came with the rig. So the second one here was from our small travel trailer. I wanted to keep it because I always have a lot of sewer hoses for that. And if I need to, I might just have to run the lines differently for the uh, propane lines here. That's the only reason why I didn't mount it next to this one, but it worked out great. I did move the RV a couple times and it never you know, hit the ground. So we'll see how it does. I did install this and I will put this in the description below. This is just an organizer for the chains, the seven pin plug, and this is really easy to install. All you have to do is just unbolt this front one here, bolts back in, and it's done. I'm thinking about doing a 30 propane tank upgrade, 30 pound propane tank, excuse me. On this side, you guys saw that I added my power cord reel. You definitely want this. And then I have some of our other stuff right there. I haven't really done anything in this area. I don't think I'm gonna hang anything on the walls. I think that this is good enough. Loving this drop frame. In our fifth wheel, we were not able to do this, like stack these. 
So we have more storage literally than our fifth wheel did because of the height in here. And that's really nice about this one. Love how they give this stuff to you, protect it. And it's super easy to winterize this rig too. You have to remember these spray ports. And then this has the tankless water heater. I put my elbows in here. You're definitely gonna want those for sure. And let's go ahead and go back on the inside so we can get that rug out. And I gotta show you guys something for the next video we're gonna be doing soon. Now, I did forget to mention this for the screen door. I actually took this out of our fifth wheel too. And I did kind of fast forward over this. So really quickly, if you wanna see what it does, the RV is completely unlevel right now. So this is just showing you how this works. So if I were to raise the tongue, I can level the rig pretty easily. Now I did find my wife, she's inside. You wanna go ahead and put this rug up? Sure. You wanna say hi to the channel? Yeah. All right, so we did get a rug. This is, how big is this? It's like a 12 by two and a half. 12 by two and a half? Okay. This is a perfect size. We already checked it last night. Oh yeah. Or it could be 10 by two and a half. Is it 10 foot? Okay. Well, we'll put the uh, size in the video just in case. So you guys know if you want to order one for yourself. So it's going to come up with about right here. Mm -hmm. Nice. So yeah. This is a runner. Uh, we do have this rug here. This is a rubber one for the shoes. Obviously they did give us the storage there. Now I pretty much showed them everything I did. I can't remember. I just showed them the paper towel mm -hmm. and- The TV. Oh yeah, I showed them TV. Yep, mm -hmm. showed them TV. Did that do anything else on the inside? Yeah. Now they did give you some cool things with this rig. For example, two brush holder right there. That is a really nice feature. We actually installed those in our fifth wheel. And anything else we did? I didn't do anything in there. I don't know. There's not much to be done. Yeah, so far, I mean, yeah, we haven't done much. But so far, guys, we definitely love the rig. I'm actually really starting to like the travel trail life, you know? Yeah. Not so big, it's easier to maintain. Only one slide, like it doesn't get any better than this. I, I thought I was gonna have a hard time, you know, adapting to this, but. That will pretty much in the video, I guess. I thought there was more that we did, but I guess we just were just cleaning out all the stuff that we had. And the next video we do, we are gonna be installing a slide topper. So pray for us. We'll have to see how that goes. But be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're thinking about getting the Alliance, we're gonna be doing some testing with it. I'm really excited because this is one of my favorite manufacturers ever since they came on the map. I've been watching what they've been doing and so far this travel trailer is a testament to why I like them so much. I actually bought a travel trailer that I probably would never bought had it not been an alliance because all the ones we walked through just didn't have that that feeling that I had when I walked in the alliance. So yeah, we'll explain that in other videos and we'll probably answer the question that you guys probably want to know. Can you go from a fifth wheel to a travel trailer? I didn't think I could do it, but somehow we managed. Peace. Mm -hmm.